The world is full of creepy things. But few things are as creepy as the story you're about to hear. It'll make you wish you were on another planet so the things in it can't get you. But trust me, if they want to, they'll sniff you out, find you, catch you, give you the creeps. They found me. I used to be a normal girl, but now I'm far from that. I'm a creep, and nothing feels more me than coming home to my swamp after a long day of haunting, removing the shoes from my four feet, and lying down with a bowl of cicada brains and a glass of mole rat milk. I like chocolate flavored. While I plan out my next day of haunting. <laughs> wow, Weta, you must spend a fortune on sneakers. Thanks, Toro. Footwear fashion is very important to me. I hate colorful shoes. If I couldn't wear my big black boots, I'd go barefoot. Go dark or go home. Well, Axe, luckily when you're a creep, it's not one or the other. You can go dark and go home. Oh, that's true. My cave is so dark the sun has never touched it. None of that disgusting natural light like in my parents' house. Humans are so weird, especially their love of sunlight. Ugh, now that I think about it, one of the only things we creeps have in common with humans is our mutual distaste for going to the dentist. So strap in your ribs, crumple your ears, and suck on something sour. Because we're the creeps, and this is the creeping hour. She never smiles. I heard it's because she wears her mother's teeth. It came from the sewer, I swear, and it spit its eyes out at me. <laughs> Mariana went to the orthodontist's office expecting to get new braces. <laughs> she had no idea how much more she would get there. <laughs> Whew, it's so hot and humid out there. Hello, you must be Mariana. I know I'm early for my appointment. Oh, that's quite all right. Dr. Fossil is a big believer in timeliness. It's one of his rules of perfection. Do you know about his process? His process? No. Oh, you're lucky. He's a bona fide genius and metalsmith wizard. He didn't start out as an orthodontist. He was originally a welder and discovered a new metal he named fossilonium that's much stronger and quicker to bond than most metals. It means you'll only have to wear your braces for a few weeks, and then you'll be perfect. You mean my teeth will be perfect? Yes, of course. That's what I meant. Your teeth will be perfect. Perfection starts with the teeth. See? Oh, wow, you have braces too. I love the green. You might feel some sensitivity for a few days, young lady, but that's quite normal. Expect it even. Brush well, try not to eat anything sticky, and always remember, if it's not perfect, it's not worth it. The fossilonium will do its thing, and you'll be perfect in no time. Tall? Is that you? I didn't know you came here. Hello, Mariana. Are you getting braces too? Yeah. Hey, what happened to your eyes? You don't do the makeup anymore? My makeup was rebellious. Rebellion is imperfect. Hey, let me see your braces. Oh, they're green too, like the receptionists. It's my special metal. I'll tell you all about it. Mariana, is that right? Come right this way. You and Talia know each other. Yeah, we're in the same class. She just moved here last year, but she's already super popular. She usually wears all this colorful makeup around her eyes and makes these hilarious videos about them. It's weird to see her eyes looking so normal. Well, I'm a big believer in perfection. In painting our faces, or any attempts to be dramatic or funny distract us from perfection. Wouldn't you agree? Actually, my brother Pablo and I think stand-up comedy is the best. Pablo told me the funniest joke last week. You'll love it. How did the orthodontist become a brain surgeon? I don't like jokes. Right this way. Nice watch. Same green metal. 
I, uh, fossilonium. Has many uses, yes. Whoa, that green metal is everywhere. I'm sorry the hallway looks so imperfect right now. It's raw fossilonium. I'm experimenting with other uses for such a glorious metal. Green doorknob, too? Up in the chair, please. This will be painless. In quick. Is that a drill? I thought you said it will be painless. It will be painless. This drill is made out of fossilonium. So it's different from other drills you've seen, and it's perfect for this. Mariana left the doctor's office with new green braces on her teeth. She felt the metal tighten around her jaw, but she also felt something metallic and cold tighten around her brain. She didn't think much about it, but her brother did. Later that night, he noticed she was acting weird, unlike her normal self, much more serious. Hey, Metal Mouth, what's it like being a robot? I'm not a robot, Pablo. Well, you certainly don't look human anymore. <laughs> hey, I've got one you'll love. Why did Mariana Metal Mouth scratch herself? I don't understand. Because she had robotics. Get it? Robotics. Nothing? What's with you today? First you come home and clean your room instead of watching the KLR Comedy Hour with me, and now you don't even laugh at my best material? And thanks, by the way. Mommy's been breathing down my neck all afternoon to get me to clean my room. Mijo, mira como tu hermana limpia su habitación. Te toca arriba, blah, blah, blah. My room was messy. Messiness is imperfect. Oh, get this. Juan and I planned this perfect prank for today, you know, as part of Spirit Week. We were going to inflate 200 balloons and put them in Mr. Pena's classroom. Juan was supposed to bring the balloons this morning, but completely flaked. And then when I asked him why, he got all serious. Like, you, actually. He said there's no room for joking if you're trying to be perfect or something like that. But come on! Weird! It was his idea in the first place. Juan's trying for perfection. Perfection starts with the teeth. Hey. He just got braces, too. Green like yours. Green is the perfect color. I don't like this, Mariana. Why are you acting so... I don't know, sense of humorless? You're starting to sound like an actual robot, and that's not cool, Em. But I bet I can crack you up with this one. What does Mariana Metalmouth do on a roller coaster? She braces herself! <laughs> hey! You're smiling. Yes, but that should... should not be funny. Humor isn't perfect, and I can't... Dr. Fossil ordered... Dr. Fossil, did he do this to you? Dr. Fossil... Dr. Fossil is... A bonafide genius and a metalsmith wizard. He didn't start out as an orthodontist. He was originally a welder and discovered... Mariana, who cares? We need to get to the bottom of this and find out what happened to you. We're going back to see Dr. Fossil whether he likes it or not. Ugh, my teeth! The metal is so tight! Good! Keep fighting whatever is pushing your perfect button. Let's go before it gets too dark. By the time the two kids arrived at Dr. Fossil's office, it looked far from perfect. The building was completely dark, except for a flickering green light coming from somewhere deep inside. What's up with the building? It's so dark and creepy. Except for that light. Why is it sparking like that? It's, um, I think it's Fossilonium. I, I saw it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Fossilonium? What, all of a sudden you have a sense of humor again? Of course not. Humor is imperfect. Fossilonium is what Dr. Fossil calls his metal. He's a bonafide genius and a metalsmith wizard. Mariana, enough already about how much of a wizard he is. Let's just go inside. It's open. Come on. Do you hear that? We have to get closer. Follow the sound. It's coming from behind that door ahead of you, past the shelves. Can you see him inside? Yes, it's Dr. Fossil. 
He's a bona fide genius. Shh. And a- What's he working on? Why is he bent over the table like that? When you look at me with your perfect teeth, la di da di da di, oh, music, you rare, rare form, a perfection, sound, melody, harmony, the perfect art. I think we just gotta go for it. Want to do the talking? Silence is closer to perfection than speech. Ugh, you're no use. <clears throat> Um, Dr. Fossil? Como estas? Can we talk to you for a minute? What? Who said that? Who's there? Why did it get dark? I can't see. The light comes from the fossilodium sparking this drill. Who am I speaking to? Identify yourself immediately. It's, uh, Mariana and, um, I'm her brother. We have a problem. Problem? That sounds far from perfect. I'm gonna take out my phone to shine my flashlight. Put that phone away! Disrupts the frequencies of the metal. Here. Okay, my phone is gone. I... Why are you wearing that surgical mask? And those goggles? It doesn't matter. You've got to help my sister. Ever since she got her braces, Mariana's been super weird. She doesn't laugh at my jokes. She speaks like a robot. And she's obsessed with being clean and perfect. You have to make her normal. Son, what is your name? Pablo. Pablo. I personally believe, and I'm sure that your sister would agree... That if it comes down to normal versus perfect, you should always choose perfect. If it's not perfect, it's not worth it. Excellent, Mariana. You're sounding more and more perfect. And your smile is looking great as well. Here, Pablo. Your teeth could use some perfecting. Get in the chair. Do you think I'm nuts? I'm not going to let you turn me into some brain-dead, perfect-obsessed zombie. No offense, sis. Just make her better and we'll leave you to your weird experiments. No, I'm afraid I can't allow that. And I may have these welding goggles on, but I can still see clearly your sister is mine now. How perfect is that? And she's brought you here to me, which makes you mine. (laughs) Perfect! (laughs) Perfect! Perfect! Now, Mariana, all perfection starts and stops with the voice of perfection, which is this voice. My... Voice. You're insane! Let's get out of here, Mariana! I can't let you do that in the chair, Pablo. Don't make this difficult. No way, Jose! Okay, no more fooling around. Mariana, take this drill and I'll hold your brother down. Your brother needs to appreciate the power of perfection. Who better to help him than you? Take it, point it, use it right now! Of course, Dr. Fossil. Whatever you say. Uh, Turn on the lights and get away from me, both of you! Now, let's go to work on your brother. His behavior is far from perfect. This is not a joke, young man. Joke? Joke? Wait, quick, Mariana. Um, why did the queen go to the dentist? To get her teeth crowned. Don't listen to him. What was the orthodontist's favorite subject? Philosophy. Philosophy. That is... Funny. No, it's not funny, and it's not true. I studied metalsmithing. We must drill his teeth, Mariana. Get closer to him. Of course, Dr. Fossil. Whatever you say. Mariana, I know you're not completely his. Fight the urge to be perfect. Ignore him. Use the drill. Get him into the chair. Ah! Get off me. Don't grab me. Give me the drill, Mariana. Point it away from me. Got it. Mariana, you leave me no choice. Mariana, where are you? It's too dark. Hit the drill. Dr. Fossil, I have a question. Huh? What do you mean, a question? How did the orthodontist become a brain surgeon? Questions are not part of the process. How did the orthodontist become a brain surgeon, Mariana? She let the drill slip. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome back, Mariana. What happened? It was risky, but I had a feeling that if I shoved the drill in your mouth, it might knock the braces loose. It worked. If you chip my tooth, I'm turning the drill on you next. But you, stay still, you rotten dentist. I'm not afraid to chip you. I am an orthodontist! You're a bona fide fossil lunatic, that's what you are. Come on, Pablo, let's call the cops on this clown. Hey, what are you doing, Fossil? Why are you taking your goggles off? No! Your eyes! Why are they... Why are they... 
glowing like that? Well, there is a simply perfect answer to your simply imperfect question. Fossilonium is effective when you apply it onto your body, but also when you put it in your body. Oh, and also, let me pull back my hair to reveal... Your ears! Are they... <laughs> they're glowing too! Yes. I created a syrup out of fossilonium and I poured it into my ears. Now, my brain is encased in a perfect layer of the most perfect metal in existence. Look at me. Aren't I perfect? <laughs> ah! Let's get out of here! I'm right behind you! <laughs> <laughs> Mariana and Pablo ran as fast as they could to avoid a world in which the Fossiloni android got what he wanted and turned them perfect, or at least into perfect followers of the perfectly out of his mind deranged dentist. Remember, frightened listener? Just because something looks perfect doesn't mean it is, and doesn't mean it should be. Perfection should be approached carefully. <laughs> you definitely don't want to listen to the next episode of this podcast. It's going to haunt you worse than a spinning drill made out of fossilonium. <laughs> We're the Creeps, and this has been The Creeping Hour. The Creeping Hour is a co-production of WGBH and Ellie Lickshine in coordination with PRX.